Hola mi gente, bienvenidos a mi cocina. Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Shelly Fultz and today I'm going to show you how to make the national dish of Honduras which is called a baleada. Now baleada is basically a flour tortilla with refried beans, cheese, sour cream, and I like to put in some scrambled eggs and avocado and it's going to be wonderful. They eat it all over the country and it's available everywhere. It's a very cheap thing to eat and you eat it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack, anytime you get a hankering for it, it's available. So let's get started. The ingredients are very basic and it's something that you can get at your local grocery store. A lot of these things you may already have in your pantry. All you need are flour tortillas, refried beans, I like these and I find these um, in the Latino grocery store that we have here in Springfield in Missouri. Uh, or I have also found these in Walmart and uh, they're just refried beans. You do want to get red refried beans, not the black or the, the very light colored ones like the Mexicans use. Um, Hondurans use the red beans. You will need an egg. And this is feta cheese. It's the closest thing that I can find to the Honduran cheese that they would use. An avocado and sour cream. The, the crema that they use in Honduras is a bit different, but this is a very good substitute for here in the States. So this is a good way to get started here and it's all you need. I'm going to start with scrambling the egg and warming up a tortilla. So I'm just going to throw a tortilla in a dry skillet and start scrambling my egg. Okay, so let's talk about baleada. It's B-A-L-E-A-D-A -E and you can look it up on the um, internet, Pinterest, anything like that and you'll be able to see exactly how it's made. We'll probably put a recipe up for you, even though I think you can do it just from watching this. Baleada means shot. Somebody who's been shot or a shot that comes out of a gun by a bullet. Uh, there's a couple of theories about how the Baleada got its name and who invented it. And it's still pretty much a mystery. Lost my plate, but we'll just use this little towel. I'm gonna put this in a towel to keep it warm. It doesn't take long to get a tortilla warm. And my egg is even ready. It's super fast to make this. You can make it for your family very quickly. So there was a woman back in the 60s, they say, in the northern coast near La Ceiba. And she set up a shop at the place where the train would come and pick up the workers to take them out into the banana plantations. And she supposedly invented the baleada. And it's a flour tortilla smeared with refried beans sour cream and cheese. And the refried beans that she used had bits of whole beans in it. And when people took a bite, the beans would shoot out the sides. And they said they're shooting out like bullets. So they started calling it a baleada, which is shot. I'm gonna open an avocado right now. And if you're uh, not really familiar with an avocado, you wanna get one that's not bright green and hard. Those are not ripe. Uh, you can always bring them home and let them ripen on your counter. Um, you don't want to get a black squishy one because those are too ripe. Definitely don't buy those. Uh, you want one that's just starting to darken and still somewhat green. And if you pick the end of it off, it should be green and not brown. And to open an avocado, you simply slide your knife in. There's a pit in the middle and your knife just kind of goes right around that pit and go all the way around and then you twist and open it up. And this is a really good avocado right here. And to get this part out, you need to put a towel to protect your hand over your, yeah, to protect your hand. And then you can whack it with your knife, twist, and then the pit comes out. Easy as pie, and you haven't cut your arm off. I'm slicing it by just putting the lines down in, not all the way through the peeling, and I'm gonna have to get a spoon out because I forgot. And then you can just scoop around the skin and get your avocado out. And it's that simple. And if you're not gonna use it right away, squirt some lemon juice or lime juice on it because it, it, it'll brown very quickly. I'm gonna get my 
scrambled egg in this dish and then we'll start assembling. Now you'll want to warm up your refried beans. You can just pop them in the microwave for a little while until they're nice and warm. Your tortillas, you always want to put them in a dry skillet and brown them on both sides until it puffs up a little bit and gets good and soft. Don't microwave them, please. It's like, it's like the cardinal sin. Don't microwave your tortilla. Now, this is the only thing that I know of in Honduran cuisine where you eat a flour tortilla. Flour tortillas are generally a Mexican thing, not Central American. They eat tortillas with every meal, but they are corn tortillas. But you cannot make a baleada with a corn tortilla. It just simply doesn't fold well. It doesn't hold a filling well. So somebody came up with this great idea. And there's also a theory about that. The people who uh, owned the banana plantations back when supposedly this was developed uh, were from uh, the Middle East, they were from India, and they brought their own cooks with them. And those cooks would make flatbreads like naan um, and, and pita and that sort of thing. So they're thinking that that influenced the uh, flour tortilla coming about. So here's to assemble our baleada. You have your flour tortilla that's nice and warm. You've got your refried beans that's nice and warm. Just smear a good amount on there. Then you're gonna drop your scrambled egg on there. So you're basically making a taco. I don't call it a taco. It's a baleada. Put your cheese on there, put as much as you want. Sour cream. If you don't like sour cream, don't worry about it. You don't have to have it on there. And I got it on my shirt. Look at that. Put a couple slices of avocado in here. Now if you were to go buy this um, at Baleadas Express, which is the chain that they have in Honduras, um, you'll pay maybe a dollar fifty for one like this. This one's a pretty nice one. Your basic baleada is just going to be beans and cheese and sour cream. Uh, this one's pretty fancy, but this is the way I like them. And Brad and I will eat these for breakfast or lunch just about any time. And it's great for when you're in a hurry or you forgot to take the chicken out of the freezer and you don't know what you're going to do for dinner. Just uh, have these ingredients on hand and you're ready to go. Would you believe Honduras has a national baleada day? And most of the tortilla uh, companies or Baleas Express and restaurants that make them will give away thousands of baleadas on National Baleada Day. So, buen provecho, give it a try. You're gonna love it. There's nothing not to love about this. Mmm, that's good. <laughs>